Uh, welcome to day number two of our presentation. Uh, last time we worked on sharing, well, creating a presentation, sharing it, um, doing a little bit of typing in there, and we kind of saw how to get the free to use pictures. Today we're going to re quickly review the free to use or share pictures, and we're going to do a little more adding on to our presentation. So let's go ahead and open that. Um, the one I had last time was uh, to Smith and a username. And the one I started last time happened to be on that cute little badge right there. Now one common question is how do you get rid of a picture? Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on that picture and you can see the border on there. And I'm going to reach up on my keyboard and simply touch my delete button. And now it's all back to a nice blank screen. <clears throat> now I'm going to begin by coming over here back to my title page and I'm going to click to add the title and I'm going to do mine today on the poisonous frogs. So I'm going to go ahead and type poisonous frogs. Now I notice there's a squiggly line underneath poisonous um, so that's telling me something is not right. So I'm going to press the control button down on my keyboard and then I'm going to go ahead and click on that word poisonous. And you'll see here that, oh, it was poison. Oh, so I spelled it wrong. Awesome. Spell check. Great. Now I'm going to go to my second page by clicking on it. And I lost that research bar I had on there last time. So, uh, so let's go review how to get that back. We go click on the tools uh, right up here in this menu. And then you look down a couple and you see research. So we're going to go ahead and click on research. Pops our bar up over here. Uh, click anywhere because we need something that's hidden behind these choices. So we click that. <clears throat> Next thing we're going to click on that little arrow down. So we're going to click that and instead of the not filter by license we want the free to use share or modify. Awesome. Now we're going to come back up here and we're going to limit our search to just the images for now. And we're going to type in poison rug. And there you can see a few different pictures of poisonous frogs. Uh, let's start with this one right here. That one looks nice. So you click it, drag it, drop it. Pretty easy to do. Um, I want another slide so to add another slide you can click the plus sign um, you can click slide up here and then uh, excuse me and then new slide uh, you can also click this little arrow which is right next to that plus sign and I really like this feature uh, it shows you what your slide that you're going to add is going to look like uh, we're going to add a, a blank one and let's come over here and add this one yet too I think that looks like it's a pretty nice picture so click drag and drop just be patient you can see this uh, image must be pretty decent because uh, it took a little while for it to um, come across the screen there and if that happens that's just fine um, <clears throat> just be patient give a little bit uh, now one thing I've been sharing with the with, with the kids is to try to avoid the 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock when resizing. Um, unfortunately, if you do that, it really kind of distorts the picture. Um, the good thing is, you can now go use one of the top five favorite buttons, which is right here, and that is the undo. Now, we're going to redo this picture, but we're just going to use one of the corners to resize. So you click the corner, drag it, drop it, and there you go. Now, what I did here is I just clicked the picture, and you can actually see the lines pop up. They're kind of hard to see right now. Um, but there was a red line that went this way and a red line that went that way, meaning that it was centered. But I want to make sure it's down low enough so that I can see his head. I think it looks nice like that. Uh, we're going to go back to page number two by clicking on page two. It takes me back to this page. Uh, click the picture. You can drag it all you want, all around. Um, kind of get it over here. It's okay to have a little bit off the screen. Um, that's just fine. 
I don't know if this would be the best picture because you're really missing probably a fairly important part unless you really want to focus on the feet or something. Uh, but I'm going to drag mine down now and go just above the page. There, I think that looks pretty nice like that. Now we're going to add a text box next. So uh, what we're going to do is, there's a couple ways to do it. Here's text box there. If you leave your mouse and hover over top, it'll show you. You can also go to insert, click that, and there it is, text box. So we can click that. Now what we want to do is go ahead and put that text box somewhere where it will show up on the screen. Uh, so I'm going to click and I'm going to open up a spot about here. And the default is it will come in as black text for now. Uh, I'm going to type in blue poisonous frogs. Now if you were just to see that on the screen that is kind of difficult to see so uh, I click once inside there now I can go and highlight by clicking and dragging over the entire selection. Um, you can also click until it highlights everything whatever way works best for you and we're going to make that a little bit bigger. We want it to be able to stand out real nice. There's blue poisonous frogs. That's nice with the black like that. Let's see if maybe we can get a blue that looks kind of like one of those blues there. I don't know how well that will stand out. Mm, I don't care for that. Let's go back to just black. And there we are. Blue poisonous frogs. Uh, now I'm going to go to the next page. And I'm going to add another text box, but I'm going to do it inside of here. And I'm going to title this Red Poisonous Frog. Now you can't see anything, but we're going to click it to have everything show up. And I'm going to make it a little larger. And I'm going to change the color. And uh, let's go with that red. That kind of looks about like that. And make it just a little bit bigger. There, it all fits on one. Now, there we are. We've added <clears throat> text box, one on each page. Uh, we learned how to control click a word to see how to spell it correctly. Um, and we've also added and resized pictures and while still keeping the, the nice ratio or aspect of the pictures. So uh, what I'd like to see is a, a couple more slides with some pictures that go along with uh, whatever you're choosing to do your uh, project on. And I wish you the best. And can't wait to see you guys in a couple days and see all the great work you have done. Uh, take care and have a good one, kids.